It's a pleasure to be able to share with you all the new Legion Space Refresh for the Legion Go, which has been in development at Lenovo with the aim of enhancing the overall look, feel and user experience. What I'll be showing you today is a beta and things you see here are subject to change and following testing we hope to squash present bugs for the final release. So let's take a tour through the software and I'll guide you through what's changed. After our initial load we'll land on the store tab which has been redesigned to include a video slideshow of top new game releases, a more visually pleasing layout and we can appreciate the navigation is much more fluid and responsive to our inputs than before. Let's take a look at the My tab where we can log into our Lenovo Passport and access our order centre for the store. We can change our profile picture, access any screenshots we've taken and access the download and help centre if required. Over on the library tab we can see our accessed games and game clients we use most all in alphabetical order and we can add more by choosing add game in the top right hand corner. Here we can scroll down the list and check mark which apps we want to add. So for example I'm going to add Brave Browser and Notepad++ which when I close the window they'll appear on my list. If I want to remove an app that I've manually added to the list I tap once followed by the options key and select remove. Something I would really like to see here is the ability for us to change cover art for our apps and games by pressing the options key and navigating to where our art is located. Still on library here we can download more game clients and open them from this area if we wish to by using the d-pad and selecting or by tapping the screen. Over on the settings tab we can see our fan RPM, CPU, GPU usage alongside what our FPS is being limited to, VRAM speed and RAM usage. Let's go through the five tabs within settings, starting with performance where we can set our own custom profile. So for example if I choose custom 1 and I want my own settings for Elden Ring, I want to choose a custom TDP of 22 watts under this profile. I can adjust the slider so this is in effect. I also want a custom fan curve at specific temperatures which I can adjust by tapping and using the d-pad to move up or down at these levels. I don't want my FPS going above 60 so I'll turn the FPS limiter on and slide this bar or use the d-pad to choose 60 FPS and I want to set my OS power mode to efficiency and once that's done I can open the sidebar and using RB I can select custom one from the list and I'm ready to play Elden Ring with my favourite profile. Back in settings under the display tab we can adjust brightness, resolution, refresh rate and toggle Radeon super resolution just like we always could in the Legion right sidebar. In audio we have our volume and microphone levels as well as their respective output devices if using the Go speakers or wired via auxiliary or Bluetooth. Disks and drivers we can tap on our C drive to gain instant access to the folder or if like me you have a separate partition can also get there too. Our drivers can be updated via this area too by detecting new updates, downloading and installing them. Lastly for settings we have our general tab where we can select our preferred language, toggle the 24 hour clock choose whether we want to boot into Legion Space automatically, toggle the light on the power button on or off, optimise battery charging by limiting to 80%, change our download path for Legion Space, view the screenshot shortcut, access the screenshot folder and toggle if a notification is displayed when a screenshot is taken. Before we wrap up the settings tab and move over to controllers we can always see our version number for Legion Space and refer back to it when necessary and in this case the Legion Space Beta is 1.1.2.10. Clicking on About will show our Legion Space About prompt where we can view the license agreement, privacy policy and third party statements. Now for the controller tab which I need to say this is probably my favourite section out of them all and I love what the Lenovo team has produced overall here, especially when it comes to the controller animations. Choosing button mapping 
will be taken to our console key mapping page where new templates can be added by typing a name for a new template, selecting, going back and editing our layout with all the buttons available to us on the controllers. We can swap between front and rear view, mapping our controls to any key on a keyboard which is especially helpful for our Y1, Y2, Y3, M3 and M2 buttons. We can choose to map these with the touchscreen or with RB, LB and the D-pad or analog stick. Additionally, we can do the same for FPS mode, which we can activate via the switch found at the bottom of the right controller. Again, switching between front and rear view. On the lighting tab, I can adjust my three lighting effects, which will have an influence on our Legion right sidebar. So let's say I want to keep lighting effect one as solid, but I want the color to be yellow. When I open the sidebar, my theme will change in effect to yellow. For lighting effect two, I want my effect to be a spiral rainbow with a brightness of around 40 and a speed of around 20. And for lighting effect three, we can choose between blinking of a solid color, a dynamic color, or I can just choose solid green, which will be reflected in the sidebar as well. Next, we can see the joystick settings that allows for the adjustment of our dead zones. So we can change the sensitivity at which actions are performed when we use our analogs by sliding this percentage bar to our own preference based on gameplay. In our trigger settings, we can make similar adjustments by changing the left and right trigger bars for when our L2 and R2 buttons activate in games and are pressed and released. In the more tab, we can see vibration toggle, controller mode, perform an input test, enable or disable gyro behavior, enable the touchpad, toggle controller hibernation, view the function short key, and switch our button layout for Legion L and R. We can swap these by using the toggle here, and for the last three entries, we can view our controller battery status, check for controller firmware updates, and view our current controller versions. So that's all for the Legion space update inside. So let's go over to the Legion R sidebar and check out the new look, starting with our performance tab. In the performance tab, we have our custom profiles, which can be navigated with LB and RB. A summary for performance monitor, showing CPU, GPU, VRAM and RAM usage. Our thermal mode for controlling TDP, fan, FPS limiter and OS power mode are all as we remember. In the general tab, we have access to brightness, volume, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. And when it comes to our resolution and refresh rate, I think the selections for these have all become faster than the previous version. With our frame monitor, in-game, I can demonstrate the FPS counter is now working on the latest Lenovo GPU driver, which is something we've all been waiting for. And we can see here in Elden Ring that it's reporting correct results during gameplay and can be adjusted as we like. On a side note, the FPS counter also works with AMD custom drivers where I have a tutorial in the description in case you wish to install these for yourself. And of course, our Radeon Super Resolution toggle works as expected. For the controller tab, our profile we set earlier can be selected from the console key mapping tab and we can bring up a layout overlay if we forget what we have created for keybinds and need a reminder. Controller vibration can be adjusted as usual between strong, medium, weak or off and our lighting effects that we set in Legion Space can be altered here too. Of course, enable touchpad and controller hibernation toggles are available here too. All 11 system quick settings are available here, and to name a few, we have Take a Screenshot, Task Manager, and Alt F4. These last two tabs we have are productivity mode for setting the external display as primary or connecting to a wireless display the help tab for accessing web pages for the help center, user manual, online support, product detection, Legion community forum, and the ability to contact Lenovo. Finally, before we sign off, the power button menu has been altered to look like this, with options for sleep, restart, shutdown, exit, and cancel. 
So that's everything coming in the next update for Legion Space, and I think this update, aside from being very big, has a lot to offer owners of the Legion Go, and when the update lands for everyone, I wouldn't hesitate to recommend picking one up if you're still on the fence or know someone trying to decide. I would love to hear what you think regarding the redesign and also what kind of new features you're hoping to see in the future from the Legion Go team. If you have any questions, drop a comment below and please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to see more handheld coverage, tutorials and gameplay. Thank you all very much for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you later.